All right. Mr. R. Peak, a uh, friend of mine on YouTube, uh, suggested that I might make a few videos of some of the projects that I've done. And oddly enough, I just finished a project uh, a couple of days ago, and this is a test light. Uh, I used uh, heat shrink, uh, polycarbonate tubing scraps that were laying around, uh, and smaller heat shrink on the wires. Uh, I used uh, Chevrolet dome light bulbs and a uh, test light lead. Actually, I got a bunch of these off of eBay. And uh, I used test light lead, cut it. <laughs> Hi, buddy. That's my buddy Bert. I used a test light lead and I uh, 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 cut it. Thank you, fella. Thanks, buddy. Thank you very much. And I made sure not to cut the wire, and I pulled it back, and then cut the wire a little bit longer so that I could solder the dome light uh, uh, on the one side. It's got a little wire uh, on it that you can solder to. And then uh, I drilled out the car polycarbonate tube to the uh, proper size, size to fit this bulb in, and then uh, I soldered it and sh uh, shoved it down inside, and then I used a, a, a heat gun and shrunk this uh, heat shrink down, and, it, and it's really sturdy. It, it makes a, a really sturdy uh, test light, and this is practically un unbreakable. Uh, now, in the past, I had used uh, uh, LEDs, and these worked pretty good. Uh, this is a little bit smaller polycarbonate tube. Uh, but um, the problem with it is uh, that if you uh, are uh, working on different voltages, like let's say 24 volts, you could you could tend to burn these out. This is uh, I use the resistance of the bulbs themselves and uh, you, to to uh, equal uh, 12 volts, and it works great on 12 volts and looks really good lit up, but if you have a lesser voltage they may not light up and if you have a greater voltage you have a tendency to burn them out then if uh, one of these bulbs burns out uh, then I would have to cut the whole thing apart whereas uh, and then uh, repair the individual bulb um, but if this burns out all you'd have to do is cut the uh, heat shrink tubing here and slowly pull the, the bulb back out of the tube and uh, unsolder the bulb and put a new bulb in, solder it back on. Uh, of course, you'd have to have the heat shrink on first and then uh, put it back together, slide the heat shrink over, shrink it back, and, and there you go. You got a great little test light uh, for not much at all. And of course, they're not that expensive, but I like making things with my hands, so there you go. Thanks for watching.